Hi, I'm Mishti Max, and I come from a land from a faraway place where the caravan camels roam, where it's flat and immense and the heat is intense. It's barbaric, but hey, it's home. And now I'm here to share the makeup I wore to the wondrous musical production of Disney's Aladdin. If it's your wish, I will show you the world and how to get this makeup inspired by Jasmine's costume with the teal and gold elements as well as an Arabic influenced eyeliner with some shiny lamp style stacked inclusions and serious glowing golden skin. I primed my eyes with Too Faced Shadow Insurance for the ensuing magical carpet ride. Make way, here he comes, ring bells, bang the drums, you're gonna love this guy. It's strange from the Naked 3 palette, and I'll sit down to the crease and highlight my brow bone with that. He's got 75 golden camels, purple peacocks, he's got 53, and for a transition shade, I have this old pale blue Revlon eyeshadow, but it's so unpigmented. So I moved on to the Sedona Lace 88 palette light blue shadow, and I fluffed that through my upper crease and created a lifted V shape at the outer corner of my eye. Next, I used my tassels to scribble on the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk, and I smudged it into the outer two thirds of the mobile lid, up to the crease, nice and thickly. To set that creamy white sand dune, I have the Sugar Peel Shadow in Mochi, and I'm patting that on with a flat brush and smoothing that out into the socket with the edge and a fluffy brush. But when I'm way up here, it's crystal clear that I should bring the shadow higher up and blend out the lid with more Mochi Shadow on that blending brush, and made sure everything was solid down there on the lid. Soaring, tumbling, freewheeling through an endless diamond sky. And to deepen up the outer corner, I have the Kat Von D Pastel Goth Palette Shadow in Doom, and I'm bringing that into the crease. The genie isn't the only one who can smoothly go poof into smoke, so I blended that out nice and smoky with more Aqua Mochi Shadow, and pressed on some with the flat brush too. Getting into some monkey business in the outer corner, I have Sugar Pill Velocity and I used that same fluffy brush to deepen up the socket and made sure it was nice and soft with more mochi. I blended out the edges with the chubby brush and added some more strange to the brow bone and now we can move on to the second wish. And Genie, I wish to cover my tear duct and in a third of my lid with Urban Decay Pencil in El Dorado. I'm dragging it along the start of the lower lash line too. I blended the pencil in to prepare it for a good bit of rubbing the lamp by adding a layer of the Inglot Pearl eyeshadow in number 430 to the inner third of that lid. But this is no ordinary lamp. It is magical and thus needs a bit of magic act from Makeup Geek. And this foiled eyeshadow makes for a more burnished tear duct highlight with a brush or a finger for good measure. I polished the lamp further, taking some more of the deeper gold eyeshadow to blend it into the turquoise for a smooth gradient. I desired to adorn the inner crease with more magic act and help the gradient across to the seafoam bluish green lid but still making sure the bright gold is punchy in there, and a finger always helps in those situations. I tended to the inner lower lash line with a little gold too. Now I'm taking the Rich Royal Electric Blue NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil for the lower lid, smoothing that out with a cotton bud. I chose to embellish the waterline with that same El Dorado pencil from Urban Decay, and then went back to buffing out the lower lid blue. I tricked the genie into whipping up a little magic of his own with more mochi on the short Sigma brush, and I darkened the outer edge with a touch of Sugar Pill Velocity and also some Kat Von D Doom to join the eyeshadow up to the upper lid. I stayed one jump ahead and blended the lower lash line across to match the look of the upper lid using the gold and blue toned shadows. You've never had a friend like me or like a makeup wipe to create an angled sharp line in an instant and to clean up under the eye. I fooled around with the inner corner gold some more like a monkey seeing a giant ruby in the cave of wonders. I just want to touch it before I'm moving on to the outer edges. 
I added more doom to the outer V and darkened it up further with velocity, gobbling it up like a street rat with a loaf of bread, and just fluffing that into the crease, keeping it all smooth with more mochi all on that fluffy blending brush. Who disturbs my slumber? Ah, it's the NYX Matte Liquid Liner, a diamond in the rough indeed, and I shall use it to create a flicked up Arabian inspired winged eyeliner. Arabian nights, neath Arabian moons, a fool of his guard could fall and fall hard out there on the dunes. So I chose to drag the darkness downward at the inside, and this inner point makes the look a whole new world, as I filled in a triangle at that tear duct. Your wish is my command, and in the Cave of Wonders it's so gold and shiny, so I just had to add a stacked line of Urban Decay El Dorado liquid liner on top of that black line. You don't have to be neat, cause you can go and fix any overspill of gold downwards with a wipe off cotton bud style and add more black liquid liner to finalize that eyeliner. Even layering up some more golden gleam on top, as I did. I cleaned up the riffraff of fallout off my face and went on to arresting the scoundrels of my eyebrows with the Urban Decay Brow Box in Bathwater Blonde to seize them into shape. Rip him open, take it back, guys. They say make way for Prince Ali, so I prepped my face with MAC strobe cream in peach light to bring out the glint of the hourglass as the sun sets over the sand. You've got some power in your corner now, some heavy ammunition in your camp, like Nick's tinted brow mascara in blonde to set the eyebrows in place. Hey, gotta eat to live, gotta still to eat. Tell you all about it when I got the time. But now I have to prime my face with L'Oreal Lumi Magique Pure Light Base. Well, Alibaba had them 40 thieves. Sure as a heart, I had a thousand tails. But master, you're in luck, cause up your sleeves, you got a brand of magic that never fails. The Nas Illuminator in Copacabana to bring out more of that glossy shine neath the skin. Hey, clear the way in the old bazaar. Hey you, let us through, it's a bright new star. Bourgeois Healthy Mix Foundation in 51 Light Vanilla. And I dotted it on the face before a spritz of MAC Fix Plus and punching it in with the beauty blender to look as fine as Prince Ali Abubu himself. Mr. Aladdin, sir, what will your pleasure be? Let me take your order, jot it down. You ain't never had a friend like me. No, no, nothing like Revlon Photo Ready Eye Primer and Brightener to go underneath the eyes along with MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer, even adding some around any areas of redness with that old beauty blender. Have some from column A, try all of column B. I'm in the mood to help you, dude, and I'm curling those lashes right up. They're quick, but I'm much faster. Here goes with some CoverGirl Corn Crusher Mascara for those top lashes. Better throw my hand and wish me happy landing. All I gotta do is jump into some MAC Giga Black Lash Mascara for the bottom lashes. One jump ahead of the hoof beats, one hop ahead of the hump. One trick ahead of disaster, and that's how powdering under the eyes in the center of the face with the hourglass ambient lighting powder in diffused light keeps you out of those shackles of some nasty creasing. If only they'd look closer, would they see a poor boy? No siree, they'd find out. There's so much more to me. And blurring the makeup into the face base will make those peasants really genuflect and show some respect. And I'll spot on my dot too. When the wind's from the east and the sun's from the west and the sand and the glass is right, Come on down, stop on by, hop a carpet and fly to another Arabian night and slap on some MAC Whisper of Guilt Mineralized Face Highlighter topped off with some Nars Albatross across the center of the face and to lighten the shade on the cheeks. Arabian nights like Arabian days, more often than not, are hotter than hot in a lot of good ways. Just like Nas orgasm for the cheeks, from apples to temples, to bring out a sandstorm of flush and golden sheen. I couldn't resist adding even more opulence with extra gold over the entire face to really give off that feather in the foofy hat and brand new lamp style. Prince Ali, mighty as he, Ali Ababwa. Mac Fix Plus strong as 10 regular men, definitely. Which I spritzed on to melt that glow in and fanned it dry on the sandy dunes. 
I prepped the lips by wiping off the lip balm and slid on some MAC Prep and Prime lip like a little fez. I can show you the world. Shining, shimmering, splendid, just like the El Dorado pencil, and I slid on a veil of it to line the lips and filled them in for a base. I can open your eyes, take you wonder by wonder, over, sideways, and under, on a magic carpet ride, with the sugar pill lipstick in glint. He faced the galloping hordes, a hundred bad guys with swords, so I'll definitely need to set my face with Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray and fan that dry too. To give the lips a dazzling place I never knew, I smoothed on some more Magic Act eyeshadow on the center of the lips for an even shinier gold that matches the rest of the face better. And I ran the deeper gold lipstick around the outline to blend the shades together. Brush up your Sunday salam and I'm out of here. Can your friends do this? Can your friends do that? Can your friends pull this out of their little hat? Can your friends go poof? Well, looky here. Can your friends go abracadabra, let her rip, and then make the soccer disappear? Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this magical tutorial. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Also, check out my band and podcast on iTunes. And if you want to send me a letter or something, I have my P.O. box in the description box. Mission.